The vertical underpinning, strong underlying support and sound justification are regarded as critically important for any research enterprise whether it is qualitative, quantitative or mixed methods. Similarly, all PhD dissertations and research papers need to have a strong theoretical or conceptual framework to justify the standing and significance of the research work. A better defined theoretical or conceptual framework provides the guiding framework for the PhD dissertation. It offers theoretical assumptions for the larger context of the research undertaking and makes the foundation on which a research project is developed. The vertical or conceptual framework provides a strong evidence of academic standards and scholastic research work. It offers an explanation of why the study is significant pertinent and valid and how the scholar intends to fill the existing gaps in the body of knowledge. As a matter of fact, a research study with a strong theoretical framework makes the thesis robust and well-structured, having a smooth, fluid and steady flow. In the absence of a well-thought-out theoretical framework, the structure and direction of the research activity get uncertain, elusive and vague. Used interchangeably, the constructs of theoretical and conceptual framework is generally regarded as one and the same. Nevertheless, there is slight difference between the two. For instance, theoretical framework provides the blueprint for the research inquiry and serves as the guide on which to build and support the entire study. Whereas conceptual framework provides a model explaining what the researchers intend to study. The critical framework used to be based on the existing theory, duly tested and validated by other researchers, such as theory of motivation, journal system theory, practice theory, and structuration theory, etc. Whereas conceptual framework used to be grounded in the concepts that provide for the main variables in a research inquiry. Critical framework provides for broader guidelines or a general set of ideas within which a research study could best be fitted in. Whereas conceptual framework relates to specific ideas the scholar use in their research study. The theoretical framework is generally presented in the shape of a model that supports a research study. Whereas conceptual framework is presented as the research scholar's own constructed model they use to showcase the relationship between the variables in the research work. The critical framework needs to be well developed, designed and widely accepted. Whereas conceptual framework needs not to be widely accepted for being researchers own answer to the research problem they defined. The vertical framework provides a direction for approaching the unknown research in a specific discipline, whereas conceptual framework offers a model that demonstrates how the research inquiry is to be conducted logically. In a nutshell, the vertical framework comprises of the theories appear to be interlinked with propositions of the study, whereas conceptual framework comprises of the key interlinked concepts elaborating the existing relationship between the variables and how the researchers claim to be responding to the research problem. I hope you like the short video. Thank you for watching.